Good morning and welcome to today's video, which is a cozy night in. Now for today's video, I had to have a really good think about what I was gonna do. And then I thought, well, you know, we still got the darker evenings and the chillier evenings. So I was thinking about how about doing a vacation from the sofa? Have I lost the plot? Maybe. Now, if you are watching this video with a friend or a husband, boyfriend, partner of any sort, Go grab yourself a piece of paper each and a pen each because we are going to do a fun little game um, a little bit later on in the video. So for now, to start this video off, we're going to go grab some Hawaiian food. So we're back home now and let me show you what we've got so basically this is sticky rice a sauce like a barbecue sauce or a hot sauce fried spam and then it's wrapped in seaweed this is lumpia yeah, pork. Lump, pork, pork lumpia and then sweet and sour sauce and then let me just show you what my husband got he got kalua pork with their creamy coleslaw and uh, no, just macaroni salad oh it's macaroni salad yeah so our evening is going to consist of sitting and eating our Hawaiian dinner. And then in the background, we are going to watch a travel guide to Maui. We're not going to, we haven't got any vacation plans to go there, but sometimes it's just nice to dream. So we're going to sit down and watch that. And then uh, don't forget, we've got a good quiz coming up. Okay, now we're going to go on to the good stuff. If you are British and you know what an English donut is like, this dessert here is an Hawaiian dessert. However, it does taste like a British donut. So this right here is a malasada and you usually buy them in tens or fives. So we got a pack of 10 and they don't look like a British donut, but they sure do taste like one, except for they don't have the jam in the middle. So if you are by a Hawaiian eatery, go inside, buy some malasadas and try them out yourself. Now, if you have strawberry jam at home, I would heat some up and then dunk these in the strawberry jam. But unfortunately, I don't. I just have apricot preserve. I don't think it's quite the same. So let's give this a go. Just like a British donut. Right, I'm going to finish this and then we're going to watch our infomercial so i'm going to link this couple's video channel in my description box because they actually live in maui so this couple has lived on the islands of hawaii for three years so they know all the places to go all the places to visit all the cheap deals and they also have a bunch of discount codes if you are thinking of traveling to hawaii so their channel will be linked in my description box So now we've finished dinner, we are about to do our vacation quiz, but I thought it'd be fun to put on this video. And that mountain out there in the sea is actually, I think it's called China Man's Hat. So this actually isn't Maui. So I have 10 questions and they are all vacation themed. So I will ask a question and then you have to write down what you think your partner's answer is going to be. So after answering all 10 questions, we'll review the questions again and uh, we'll just see how well we know our partners or our friends. So question number one, don't forget, I'm writing down what I think he thinks and you'll write down what I'm going to answer. Right. So question number one. What is my favourite vacation we've been on? We're not checking the spell on the whole thing. No, we're not okay. checking the spell on the right. <laughs> so number two. What was the most expensive va vacation we have been on? I think if we was to do the math, it's, it's literally between two but I think you're gonna say this one. Right, number three. Well, actually I had a, okay, never mind. Okay. Never mind. Number three, which vacation had the best food? Hmm. <laughs> I think you're gonna answer this. Ready? Number four. Okay. Which vacation had the best beach? 
I'm looking this way so I don't look at your answers. Okay. Okay, just so you know. All right. Um, if this was a regular test, I'd be cheating on it off your paper. Okay, so you're writing down my answers. Right. At, next to it, I think you need to write down your answer because you're going to forget your answer. So, so number one was, what was my favorite vacation we've been on? So you need to write down your answer right. next to it. What was number two? Number two was, what was the most expensive vacation we have been on? Number three, which vacation had the best food? Number four. Number four was, which vacation had the best beach? Beaches. Number five is, which is the next country you would most like to visit? Hmm. So what do you think I'm going to say? Okay. Six. Which vacation took the longest to get to? Meaning from the moment you left your house to you, right. you get to your to destination. Arrive, yeah. yeah. So I would say. <laughs> I think you're going to say this. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Which vacation? What? Oh, which vacation would you like to do over? <laughs> Number eight. Which country in Europe would you like to visit? Hmm. Well, for you, let's see here. Um, in Europe. <laughs> okay. You done with that one? No. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, number nine. The questions are hilarious for you, honey. <laughs> yeah, because I'm trying to, I'm really thinking what you're going to say. <laughs> All right, <laughs> number nine. That's when you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> number nine, would you rather go on a cruise or stay in a five-star hotel for a week? Okay, number ten. Last one. Would you rather rent an RV and travel the USA or ride on the Orient Express through Europe? Now we're going to reveal the answers. So question number one was, what is my favorite vacation we've ever been on? For you, I've answered Jamaica. That would have been right. I put that wrong. What did you do? No, for me, I put it wrong. Oh, so what do you think my favorite for vacation? You, I said Hawaii. No. Uh, uh. I said no. South of France. Oh, I forgot all about that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. number two. What was the most expensive vacation we had? I think you wrote down Jamaica. I did, for me. What do you think I wrote down? Jamaica. Burr, burr. Florida. Florida. Yeah. We drove all the way there. Yeah. And that was an expensive hotel. And then we had the spa. We paid for the food. Okay. We went twice. I was thinking of uh, the first one we took when we went through Kentucky. And oh. Okay. okay. <clears throat> uh, all right. So what did you say for me? Jamaica. Okay, so you got that one right. Okay, so I've got two right and you've got two, two wrong. wrong. Your memory better than mine. All right. Half these vacations I didn't even think of. All right, number three. <laughs> Which vacation had the best food? For me, I think you said Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica. <laughs> what do you think I said? Jamaica. Uh, yes, you got that one right. <laughs> All right, number four. <laughs> Which vacation had the best beach? Now, I, I said, think. I, I'll answer this one first. Okay, all right. So I said Hawaii for you. Uh -uh. <laughs> Cancun. But we didn't even hang out on the beach. Yes, we did. We went, we went to, me and Kathy got in the water. We walked down, that was the whitest yeah. sand with the biggest, longest beach. 
and that was the warmest water we went in. And then when we went to the little boat trip and we went to the island, that beach there where me and you, where that guy gave us that beer, that was the best beach ever. We couldn't that, even that, get, that we couldn't even bit. get, yeah, we couldn't even get into the water in Hawaii because there were those blue jellyfish. No, no, but where we renewed the vows at, that beach is right No, we didn't get in the water there, no. Yeah, no. Obviously, no. you can tell I'm not a beach person. <laughs> but, okay. Right, so you got that one well wrong. So, I right. got that one. I think you wrote, <laughs> Jamaica. Uh, nope. Jamaica, no. No. Nope. You put Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got that one wrong. All right, number five. Which is the next country you would like to visit? What did you put then for me? For you, I put Australia. No, but Canada. Hmm. Yep. Because y'all talked about that once. Yeah. But uh. But but co we, so we were going to do a girls' trip up to Canada, and then COVID happened. Literally, it got what we got shut down like two weeks after we yeah. we had actually met up to book the the um, flights and everything. And one of the girls forgot her passport, so we couldn't book the flights. Had we done that, we would have I don't know whether we would have lost our money or not. But two weeks later, with the um, COVID shut down, so. Anyway. Yeah, but you guys never talked about it since, so I didn't think. Well, no one of us it. moved away, so. Well, still two. Allison. Huh? <laughs> wow. All right, so I I think. Hold on, what was the question? Where what like What is the next, next country? Right, um, the next country I think you would like to go to is Australia. Uh, Number I'll five. Put, yeah, I'll put Spain. Oh, you put Spain? You've been there. Well, Portugal. Oh, well, Portugal's not Spain, yeah. dingo. They speak Spanish. <laughs> no, they don't. They speak Portuguese, Portuguese, which is completely different from Spain, oh, Spanish. How do you know? Because I started learning Portug Portuguese oh, okay. on Babbel. Right, uh, <laughs> six. Which vacation took the longest to get to? Now, I think you said Jamaica. No. No? All right. Yeah. What did I say? I think you said England. Uh, uh, Sanibel Island in Florida. Because we took a trip. We drove from we Vegas. Drove, we drove. And then yeah. we stopped overnight in Dallas. And then we carried on driving. So it actually was Florida. Yeah, driving. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. That was thinking flying the yeah. whole time. All right, number seven is which vacation would you like to do over? Now, I put for you because you've done it a couple of times and I think it's near and dear to your heart. I put England. Uh -uh. South of France. For and you, me? I think you put Jamaica. Yes, I'm a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, number eight. Uh, which country in Europe would you like to visit? What do you think I put? I put Greece. That's not Europe, is it? Yeah, it's probably your UEA or whatever, I believe. It was at one point. Hey, Google, is Greece in Europe? Greece is a country in southeastern Europe with thousands of islands throughout the Aegean and Ionian yeah. Sea. Is it really? Yeah. Influential in ancient times. It's often okay, Google, thank you. Um, no, I did not put Greece. Okay. For, for the viewers, uh, Greece is a part of Europe. <laughs> I would never have said that. Oh. I would, if I had bet a million dollars, I'd be poor right now. But I put Switzerland. Uh. Um, I think... You put Portugal. Nope. What did you take so long to say no? Because I had actually put Portugal where I had Spain up there. Yeah. And then I crossed Portugal out and put Spain because I thought they was in the same area. See right there. So you put <laughs> Spain as... No, no. I, oh. Yeah. That was the Portugal one that I had put Spain. Number five. What's, or, your, what's your answer to number eight? Italy. <laughs> Okay. Number nine. Would you rather go on a cruise or stay in a five-star hotel? I think you said cruise. Wrong. Really? Yep. You were just talking about cruises. 
Yeah, but we wasn't comparing it with nothing. We were just talking about cruising. Okay, all right. What did I put? I think you put five star. Okay? Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> all right, the last question. Would you rather rent an RV and travel the USA or ride on the Orient Express through Europe? What did I say? Five star. Uh, <laughs> Orient Express. Yes. Yeah. I said... You want to get an RV and travel the USA. Wrong. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. They put Express. You did. You. That's a no way. It, yeah. You've been talking about RVs for how many right. months now? Yeah, but you, yeah, gotta, yeah. you yeah, have yeah, to yeah, understand yeah. this. When we had these conversations, they weren't in comparison with something. Okay. Else. Yeah. All right, then. So let's add these scores up. Uh, one, you, you two, one three, hands down. four, one. one Two, three. I only got two no. yeses for you. No, you got three. I got number number ten. Number ten, oh, number nine, no. and number three. Oh, number nine, yeah, I put yeah. a note. Yeah. So I got three for you. <laughs> and I got four, right. So, um... Well, we're yeah. not far off. We're not far off, but we don't know each other very well. <laughs> well, no, you have a better memory than me. Half the vacations, yeah. when you were saying... Well, to be fair... I answered Jamaica for most of them. <laughs> for me? Yeah. <laughs> I did up and down here a few times, though. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. three. Yeah. Four. Three. Four. <laughs> you had it oh. for number one, number yeah. two, number three, number seven. Yeah. Hey, yeah, four. <laughs> I like Jamaica. <laughs> so what did we deduce from this, then? So did we get any of the same answers? For number three, we did. Which vacation had the best food? Yeah, that yeah. was Jamaica. But we didn't have the same answer for anything else. Um, nope. Number 10 we would have. You just got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean I got it wrong? <laughs> Is he the correct or not? I would have yeah. got, got it right, but I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put the wrong, and I did as well. Well, mine was the memory. Yours was some of the conversations we had, they weren't in comparison with, would you rather do this or that? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to try the RV, but if it was RV or Orient Express, then to me, it'd be the Orient Express. So what you're saying is, we're gonna go on the Orient Express? No, I did not say that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. you let me know in the comment box, how many <laughs> answers you got right between you and your friend or partner or husband and wife. <laughs> but make sure your partner remembers all the vacations that you've been on. Uh, <laughs> and then you might be a little more accurate. I didn't remember <laughs> half the vacations we had been on. Um, otherwise, some of my answers would have been different. Uh -uh. Not that I didn't enjoy them. I just didn't remember some of them. <laughs> okay. Well, this was fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> now, if you're new to my channel, I just would like to let you know that every Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m., I am in a collaboration with the Transatlantic Housewives of YouTube, and that is Tina... Maria, Karen, and myself. I am going to link all their channels in my description box. After you've watched this video, please go ahead and pop over to their channels and watch their videos. And we would really like it if you considered subscribing. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next Sunday where we will be springing into action. Hit the like, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.